This is Don Drysdale. The Olympic Games are the finest competition among athletes in the world, and part of the reason for the continuing success of the Olympics has been the ability of the steering committee to add new sports when they become popular and drop old ones that people aren't interested in any longer. Today I'll tell you about a couple of races that were dropped, and for good reasons. This program is brought to you as a public service of this station in cooperation with your local Army representative. Today's Army will teach you a job with a challenge and a good future. Get the details from your nearby Army recruiter soon. Now today's story. There have been millions of interesting sports stories to originate at the Olympic Games. Great champions have been recognized and crowned there, and breathtaking competition is what people have come to expect. Today, we'll examine a couple of events that were just plain dumb. First, let's talk about swimming. For the last several generations, Americans have always dominated the swimming competition. But it wasn't always so. Australia, Hungary, and Germany were once the swim powers of the world. And Australia's first swimming champion was Freddie Lane, who won a gold medal in the 1900 Paris Olympics in the 200-meter freestyle. Today, we're not concerned with Lane's first medal, but his second one, because he won it in a race that was staged for the first time in Paris in 1900, and then was never run again. It was called the 200-meter obstacle race. The program called it hurdle swimming, and that's just what it was. Every 50 meters, a swimmer would encounter several barrels floating in the water on their side. Both ends had been removed, and the idea was to crawl through the obstacle and resume swimming until you came to the next one. Speed in crawling through the water-filled barrels was what counted. Lane was only 5 feet tall and weighed 120 pounds, so he slipped through much more quickly than any of his competitors. And in a moment, I'll tell you about an Olympic race that was even sillier. First, let's get serious about today's Army. You know, it takes a lot of things working together to make a champion. Dedication, natural ability, intense training. Well, today's Army offers you the training you want, guaranteed before you enlist. Put this with your dedication and talent and come out a winner in the race of life. See your Army representative and join the people who've joined the Army. Now back to our story, the story of fun and frolic at the Olympic Games. Just about everything has happened at the Olympics that you could ever imagine. Bravery, failure, suspense, and high camp comedy. One of the funnier failures in the Olympic record books took place in the 1908 Games in London. The event was the 1,000-meter sprint for bicycles. The British had built a brand-new bike track, an oval 660 yards long. It was paved with bricks, and it was a beautiful sight to see, but it wasn't much fun to ride on. Obviously, the men who built it had never been on bicycles in their lives, because although the track looked great, the bumpy texture of the rough bricks threatened to tear a bike apart when it built up speed. Before the cyclists had completed one lap, Seven had experienced blowout. They slowly walked their bicycles to the center of the arena to watch the rest of the race. Then there were more blowouts. Riders were falling all over the track, and within minutes, over 20 riders were down. Well, if this kept up, no one would be left in the race. As the almost continuous pop, pop, pop went on nonstop, the first riders down had a great idea. They'd change tires, then get back in the race. Of course, as soon as they started changing their flats, so did everyone else, and soon there was complete pandemonium in the track. There was only five or six men riding at any given moment. The rest of them were strewn all over the arena, changing tubes and inflating tires. As soon as the repairs were finished, they jumped back on their bikes and pedal away, only to have another flat a few minutes later. And finally, after an hour of desperation, they finally gave up. The race was called off. No winner was announced. It was one of the funniest flubs that ever befell an Olympic competition. A rotten track that prevented everyone from finishing. And this is Don Drysdale, and you're sure to finish a winner if you join the people who've joined the Army. Until next time, so long, everyone.